Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as we all have um, come here uh, as a tribe of survivors of narcissistic abuse, uh, today I want to talk a little bit about something that um, happens to all of us after the discard or after the relationship has ended with a narcissist. And it's something that's really scary, and it's um, it's the loneliness that we feel for the first time in a long time. Not just loneliness as a a matter of the kind of the kind of feelings we had when we were with the narcissist, but the loneliness that we are scared of right after, because like most narcissists they um they keep you so tightly within your circle of just the two of you you know and they've isolated you from so many people um and it was just all them right they always make you know everything about them and the whole world about them you know and all your activities kind of surround them and all your ventures surround them and when they're just gone overnight you know I had like a real fear of oh my gosh like I'm gonna be so lonely because um, like you know I don't see my family that much all my friends are distant um, and now someone who I was with every day is gone overnight and I was I was so scared to to face that actually when it first happened um, and the thing is the really good news is <laughs> if you're in that space the good news is it doesn't last long like the fear of loneliness um, and if you find yourself kind of feeling lonely it really what helped me you know um, and the advice that I've got from other people is like this is your first chance in a long time where you get to do you right is what I was told you do you for the first time you're not doing the narcissist anymore <laughs> you're not doing them um, feeding them and giving them your time and you know even the things that you don't want to do you are still doing that to support them you know um, instead of um, kind of feeling lonely you can start to let yourself feel a little bit excited that you get to do you for the first time you know and I'm just sitting there going and I had to I actually had to like write a list down of things that I wanted to do and it was amazing because I, I I never thought in that way for so long it was almost hard to even let myself go there you know so and I'm sitting there going well I get to do me for the first time in like seven years like anything I want like there's no there's no having to you know get permission from someone <laughs> There's no having to convince someone to let me do it or try to get them to do it with me. It was all, it was all me. So it was, uh, yeah, it was quite the, the process of writing it, everything down that I wanted. You know, there was uh, a couple places that I wanted to travel. Um, you know, languages that I, I wanted to refresh that I, that I learned when I was very young. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have any artistic talent. I want artistic talents. Like I wish I could paint and draw and do things like that, but I, I'm not very good. So I'm actually doing a paint by numbers right now as part of uh, like a meditation process. <laughs> Hopefully it'll turn out good. But the, you know, these are things that I was able to do for the first time because like every moment of my life basically before was consumed um, around them right and helping them with whatever that they, they were doing or involved in and then um, you know because if, if I wanted to do something well that means I had to do it alone and I'd almost feel you know they would make you feel guilty for um, like a, doing things without them so you you tend to you know I ended up never doing that so I did um, I did go to uh, traveling Europe by myself uh, for uh, just over a month and I just kind of popped around from country to country and drank a lot of wine and ate good food and did whatever I wanted <laughs> um, and it wasn't lonely it really wasn't um, you know you, I, I wanted to I wanted to do that and I wanted to go alone because um, 
I didn't know, I didn't feel like myself and I kind of wanted to, to know what I, who I was again type thing, if that makes sense. Because the goal is to kind of get back to where I was before the nurse, the narcissist, right? You know, because I love that girl, you know, she was great. <laughs> so how do I, how do I get back to her? And, and it actually, it, it starts with being alone for a little bit, but not you being alone and being lonely, you being alone and doing you every minute every day it's all about you and your <laughs> and you don't have to feel guilty anymore about it so you know um and i can finally i can finally say it. like i don't feel i don't feel lonely even though i'm alone i feel less lonely now <laughs> than i did then when i was with the narcissist at the end of our relationship you know that those last 6 months were incredibly lonely for me I was so isolated, uh, and now I can I can go and do whatever I want. I, I do have a dog. Having a dog really helps. <laughs> like she doesn't leave my side. <laughs> she's uh, she's the best dog ever. She's very connected to me. Um, she's like my doggy soulmate. So <laughs> that that part helps um, if uh, if you feel that way. But uh, if you're if you've just broken up with your narc um, and are are worried about the having to deal with um, being lonely, you know th- it's gonna pass. Like th- those feelings will will pass, um, and then because you'll discover that you get to do you. And even if you do things that al- by yourself, you don't feel lonely anymore. And then as you start to feel that way, like all of a sudden people will start to come into your life and manifest because you're that girl that you used to be or you're that guy you used to be I guess I I do have some male listeners out there but and um you know like this week I'm going with my dog I'm going hiking uh, just the two of us and it's it's an awesome time it's so like it's I get to have those kind of make memories for me not for anybody else and it's something that um you have to start to enjoy and once you're there and once I, I feel like I, I've gotten to that space, then I can probably, you know, like I do date, but I, I I don't do anyone really. I haven't gone very serious with anybody yet. I don't know what the good um, timeline um, to let that happen. You know, the narc uh, got there in 24 hours, but me, it might be, you know, 24 months or something. I don't know. But but that's okay. I don't, I don't need to um, get married or get into a serious relationship again to not feel lonely you know and I don't I don't have kids you know that was a decision I made a long time ago and and I can honestly say I don't I don't feel lonely in my life um I'm actually really uh happy being able to do all my activities and and just be happy with myself so it it took a while to get here I would say that took about I don't know, like, I want to say like, it was over six months, maybe almost a year for me to start feeling like that. And I, and I figured, you know, then another year of me, you know, slowly starting to, to have more people in, in my life and get closer and rebuild all my relationships again. So it's in, yeah, I'm actually starting to feel a little bit happy, but it takes, it takes a little bit of work. But if you're ever, you know, in the throes of loneliness, um, because of your breakup just remember you get to do you for the first time in a long time and you just you can sit down and get a a notebook and start writing everything that you want and you not not what the narcissist wants or what's good for your relationship or what you know business venture they want to go what do you want to do right and it ends up uh, it makes you feel better and all of a sudden it, the the cloud will lift and you'll look around going, Oh my God, I get my, I get my life back all of a sudden. (laughs) It wasn't taken away. It was given back to me, you know? So it's, it's a good feeling to have. And I hope you guys can all, um, can all get there with me. And just, if you have any questions, uh, for me, like I'm going to read the comments and I'll try to answer, um, some questions in the future video. So, uh, leave me your comments and your questions and be sure to subscribe as you join our tribe here on YouTube of survivors post-narcissist.